All right, so Samsung's just released their second foldable line, the Galaxy Z Flip. And really, it's the fourth most prominent one behind the Galaxy Fold, the Huawei Mate X, and the G Motorola Razr. But it just kind of has me asking, why? It's like the Galaxy Flip, the way I look at it, it's a phone you need to interact with more, a phone that costs more than others, and is less durable than others. And really, it's all got last year's specs. <laughs> and again, that starting price of 1380 US dollars, it's ridiculous, it really is. I do not see a reason for anyone to buy it. Other YouTubers have rightly pointed out that even if this phone didn't fold it would be and it was half the price it would be nowhere near worth it to a whole bunch of people and it just again it really gets me asking why are we still here why are we still caring about foldables in this day and age where the galaxy fold had massive screen problems the razor had durability problems and the mate x hasn't even launched to america because that phone probably scratches easier than a bit of paper. I always curiously come back to the Z Flip. I could accept the motor razor as a tribute to the past, something to say, look, see how far we've come. But with Samsung retaliating and creating their own version, is there something I missed? I was always trying to think of practical benefits to having a flip phone foldable. Is it the decrease in size when not using? Is it the 90 degree tilt for taking photos? Do people actually like taking extra steps to use their phone because it results in them getting distracted less and less by it? These questions keep me up at night. I mean, I get it. For people that have smaller pockets, having a phone that could fit down into an even smaller form factor really would seem attractive. But if you're going to have smaller pockets and then carry a bag or a purse or something with you, why don't you just get a wearable? It'll deliver all the no notifications you need. If anyone's trying to contact you, be it call or text, they'll, you get the notification on there and then you can dig into your bag and get it. I just think it's going to save you money in the long term. What, an iPhone 11 goes for 700 bucks, Apple Watch Series 4 goes for 400 That's $1,100. That saved you $300 or even $400 if you go for the Motorola, if you want the Motorola Razr. I just think it's a better value proposition to go with the phone and the wearable. And I mean, I haven't even really talked about durability yet. And it probably is the second biggest problem with foldable phones right now. I mean, you saw that Jerry Winger Everything video. The screen, it can literally be damaged by a fingernail. What? What kind of person wants to pull out their phone and not touch the display? It's just, how many more warning signs do we need that this display technology is not ready? I keep on wondering why the tech audience thinks this is the future. I wonder if they are just bored or they are looking for another reason as to why Apple bad. Can they not see the price? Do they choose to ignore it? Will there be comments down below telling me how wrong I am? Or am I truly wrong and somehow cannot see that this is the future? Or will foldables turn out to be like my videos, a cool and interesting concept, but shallow in the execution and breaks under any scrutiny? Well, at least it folds. And I think that's really the things that I've come to expect from these foldable products. They're all first generation, so they all seem to get a pass. And because they fold, they seem to be void of criticism. But I think I have to ask you this. Shouldn't we hold them all to the same scrutiny as we do our regular phones? Shouldn't companies like Samsung, Huawei, Motorola, not Apple, they get the void of all criticism because Apple is perfect. Shouldn't they, all the rest of them anyway, be all held to the same level of scrutiny? Because I think I'm starting to see that maybe Samsung should know when to hold them and when to fold them. And as always, I've been Lone Tomato. Thanks for watching.